british empire is one of the most influential empires that has helped shape the world forever the empire compromised dominions territories protectorates mandates and colonies the british empire can be divided into two periods these being the first british empire which was roughly between 1578 to 1783 and the second british empire from 1783 to 1997 at its height, the British Empire was the largest empire in history. It was so big it was said of it that the sun never set on the British Empire. The empire's roots can be traced back to the 16th century, with Spain and Portugal expanding across the globe, establishing its own colonies and building large empires. Envious of this, England began making moves towards establishing their own empires, with the founding of the Plantation Island beginning in 1556. This was the first example of colonisation with the settlement of English Protestants in Ireland. In 1578, Queen Elizabeth I granted a patent to Humphrey Gilbert for discovery and overseas exploration. With King James coming to the throne in 1604, merging the Scottish and English crowns. With this further rectified in 1707 with the Act of Union between England and Scotland. With the Empire beginning to take shape during the early 17th century, the early Empire would clash with other European powers, such as during the Thirty Year War. This era of maritime expansion and competition between France and Britain would result in the settlement of North America and smaller islands of the Caribbean. Cultivating in the Seven Year War in the 18th century, which would later be described by Winston Churchill as the First World War. The Seven Year War in, occurred in the 18th century and it involved all five major powers of Europe, the Kingdom of Great Britain, Prussia, France, the Habsburg Monarchy of Austria and the Russian Empire. The Seven Year War resulted in Britain becoming the dominant power in North America following this war in which they gained Canada with the East Indian Company having been established for trading posts in, in 1600s conquering over the Mughal Empire at the Battle of Plassey in 1757. Through the 1760s and 70s, Britain's relationship with its American colonies declined due to growing resentment as Britain tried to impose taxes on these colonies, resulting in the American War of Independence. The loss of these colonies would be bookend the beginning of the Second British Empire and the end of the First. With the loss of the colonies, Britain turned its attention to the Pacific, with British explorer Captain James Cook having discovered the eastern coast of the Australian continent 13 years prior, while on a scientific voyage. The British would send their first penal shipment to the land in 1787, and arriving in Botany Bay between the 18th and 20th of January 1788. These colonies would become profitable for Britain through wool and gold rushes, with the city of Melbourne for a time being becoming the richest city in the world and the second largest after London in the empire. Britain had been an active participant in the slavery and the Atlantic slave trade, with slavery having been a basis of the colonisation of the West Indies through sugar plantations. Britain would be responsible for the transportation of up to 3.5 million slaves, a third of all the slaves shipped during the Atlantic slave trade. The trading of slaves was abolished by Britain in 1807 and in 1833 banned the institution of slavery. Britain establishing the West African Squadron in 1808 with the task of suppressing the Atlantic slave trade by patrolling the coast of West Africa, preventing the slave trade by force of arms, including the interception of slave ships. At the start of the 19th century, Britain was faced with a threat to their supremacy from France under Napoleon. A series of conflicts would erupt in this time against the French empires, and various coalitions would be led by Britain and financed by Britain against Napoleon, with Napoleon finally being defeated and exiled in 1815. Britain would emerge as the unchallenged superpower in this world, beginning an era known as Pax Britannia, or British peace, that lasts for up to a century. Part of Britain's dominance was a result of the Industrial Revolution, which had begun in Britain, and it is defined as the period between 1760 and 1840, which saw a transitioning period to new manufacturing processes with many technological innovations being of British origin, such as the steam engine. This would enable Britain to become the world's leading commercial nation with a global, with a global trading empire and colonies across the world. This was further underpinned by 
the steamship and the telegraph, and Britain's naval supremacy, allowing the empire to expand rapidly through the 19th century, which was reflected through the Scramble of Africa, which was a rush to colonise the African continents by the European powers, with the Berlin Conference in 1884 to 1885 resulting regulating European colonisation and trade in Africa. The conference carved up the continent amongst European powers, including Britain. This coincided with Germany's sudden emergence as an imperial power, and it was through growing tensions with Germany that would be one of the reasons that would lead to World War I. Britain would win the war and reach its territorial peak in the aftermath of it. In 1921, Britain ruled over 412 million people, 23% of the world's population at the time. But the war had weakened the empire, and this was only accelerated with the Second World War, with Britain's economy and infrastructure decimated. Maintaining an empire had become too expensive, coupled with growing independence movements such as the Free Indian Movement, Britain would enter a period of decolonization beginning with the independence of India and Pakistan in 1947, with the empire losing its superpower status in 1957 following the Suez Canal crisis, exposing Britain's limitations as a world power and confirming their decline, with the empire officially ending in 1997 with the handover of Hong Kong to China.